I've selected is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, um, which is not only a, a band and challenge book, but is about book burning. Um, the passage I'm going to read is uh, early in the book when the fireman Montag is having a conversation with a teenage girl named Clarice. She asks him, do you ever read any of the books that you burn? He laughed. That's against the law. Oh, of course. It's fine work. Monday burn Malay, Wednesday Whitman, Friday Faulkner. Burn them to ashes, then burn the ashes. That's our official slogan. They walked still farther and the girl said, is it true that long ago firemen put fires out instead of going to start them? No. Houses have always been fireproof. That's my word for it. Take my word for it. It's strange. I heard once that a long time ago houses used to burn by accident and they needed firemen to stop the flames. He laughed. She glanced quickly over. Why are you laughing? I don't know why. He started to laugh again and stopped. Why? And she said, you laugh when I haven't been funny and you answer right off. You never stop to think what I've asked you. He stopped walking. You are an odd one, he said, looking at her. Haven't you any respect? And uh, I thought this passage was just a really perfect um, depiction of um, the way indo the indoctrinated don't question what they've been taught and, um, you know, don't don't think about their answers because they're so deep in their indoctrination that uh, they don't have to they don't have to question what they've been taught. And this character Clarice comes into Montag's life and starts asking questions, and it's deeply unsettling to him. And uh, there's a passage on the next page where he's been she's been uh, she's been getting him to notice things that he's never noticed before, like the moon. And it says, they walk the rest of the way in silence, hers thoughtful, his a kind of clenching and uncomfortable silence in which he shot her accusing gla glances. And I thought that that passage, the clenching and uncomfortable silence in which he shot her accusing glances, was just a perfect description of the way people feel when their beliefs are challenged. And um, I think that that is, you know, Bradbury does so much in this book that describes the way I think book banners and book challengers feel, fear, fear the way books threaten, potentially threaten their, their belief system. And uh, so that's why I chose this passage and this book. And I, it's a you know, really, really beautiful book. And um, I, I think a lot of people haven't read it in a long time and it's worth revisiting uh, because it was written in the 60s and it could have been written yesterday and it's, it's really frightening how much of it has come to pass. So, Ray Bradbury.